Okay, sure, we talk a lot about the Titan and Boa, but what about the Gigantopus Garstini, a snake from your prehistoric nightmares that slithered along in the northern Sahara, Egypt, and Algeria, killing elephants and crocodiles as it slipped on by? Would it have taken down a human? Oh, sure, but there weren't any back in the Gigan's day. But what if Honey was still alive today? Hello, and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that loves to hit you with a big old snake. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and and today I'm asking, what if the Gigantophis snake didn't go extinct? Oh, what a question. Oh, what a snake. But before we slide on into this video, I want to ask you guys to let me know if you have ever held a snake. Here's a picture of me holding one about four years ago. Snake! Right then, the Gigantophis. What you got for us? Also, by the way, I'm going to be abbreviating Snakey Baby's name to the Gigan as it rolls off the tongue a lot easier. Cool. Thanks. So the Gigan slithered its last 40 million years ago and was a constrictor snake, which means it squeezed its prey to death. Fun. Also fun, they were said to be adept swimmers and would wait for prey by hiding in shallow water. The snake was considered to be the biggest on Earth. That was until the fossil of the Titanoboa was found in 2009 in Colombia. What does a snake have to do to stay on top? Despite the total eclipse of the Gigan, it was still huge. From their fossils, it is thought that they measured up to 33 feet long, so 10 meters, roughly the size of a school bus. So, what if these mega snakes were still out there? Back in the day, these great big snakes were pretty specific to the hot climbs of northern Africa. Imagining they did exist is imagining them after 40 million years of evolution and migration, which is a pretty difficult task. If we imagined them as they were back then, I guess perhaps there would have been more giant snakes and relics from the ancient Egyptian civilization and northern African tribes. Maybe the people would even have worshipped them. Or maybe if the snakes really were alive and thriving, they would have obliterated humans who were also known to originate in the continent continent of Africa. Perhaps we would never have crossed over into Eurasia if the deserts we had to pass were infested with massive snakes. But then again, we seem to have managed it in the face of other wildlife adversity. Although as far as we know, nothing has been quite as terrifying as a 33 foot snake. Humans probably will still have migrated the way that we did, but we would have learned how to take down huge snakes. Snakes are pretty meaty, maybe humans would even have hunted them. Or perhaps they would have found there to be higher competition for food with the snakes snakes around also killing medium sized animals. Who knows what that could have meant for us. Further considering migration, it is likely that the snakes which could swim would have slipped on over into other hot areas. Israel, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, the UAE, maybe into Iraq, Iran, Syria, Turkey. Who knows how far these snakes could be living today? Could they survive in southern Europe? Could they have made it as far as India? If so, like. Whoa. If the Gigantophis hadn't gone extinct, then it would really be a sight to behold. They would be among some of the largest land animals in the world today, much bigger than the biggest alligators and bigger than the great Chinese salamander. The current largest verified snake right now is the green anaconda, which is still 7 to 10 feet shorter than the average of the Gigans. Maybe the snake would cause chaos and eat a bunch of humans, but we've managed to get the upper hand with all other wildlife we readily encounter, so I kind of doubt it. More likely we would be writing horror movies about it in the style of Jaws, and perhaps some nasty people out there would go off specifically to hunt the snake as a trophy. A really big, weighty, pointless trophy. Most of us would be sensible enough not to go out looking for the killer snake, but wildlife documentaries and nature shows would have our backs. Perhaps some would even exist in zoos too, but can you imagine if they got loose? For all the wizards out there and the parcel tongues, imagine what they could do if they could communicate with a whopping great snake sidekick. Okay, we've boarded into the ridiculous, so maybe it's time to quit while we're ahead. What do you guys think would have happened if the Gigantophis was real? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to let me know if you've ever held a snake, and if so, what kind? So let's get some serious snake chat going on down here. We've seen the viewing stats, we know you love a snake. Okay, so before I go, I just read some comments from a similarly snaky video, but ultimately a little bit more ridiculous. Last week I did, what if the Titanoboa fought Cthulhu? And really Really, I'm not sure what we were expecting. Gaming Toast kind of hit the nail on the head here. They wrote, okay, come on, this is just getting out of hand. Like, really, who's going to win out of this otherworldly being who has the world at his hands and is so scary once you see him, you turn insane? Or one tiny snake boy. Snake boy? 
totally fair. Lovesick YT wrote, The Titanoboa is dinner for Lovecraft's squid monster. The Titanoboa is a big snake. Cthulhu, however, is a giant, evil, bloodthirsty demigod. You're right, and I'm not even sure if it's dinner, just more like, I don't know, dental floss. Ugh, snakes as dental floss, a visual I didn't need. Evening up the score a little bit. Unlighted Beans wrote, What if Zeus had a fight with Cthulhu? Honestly, I guess that's more like it. We should start pitting gods against gods, not gods with snakes. Ooh, I wonder who the snake god is. Anyway, I digress. I'll see you in a future snaky video. For now, I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. Please do leave a thumbs up on this video. I'll catch you in the next. But until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning. <laughs>